Hey guys, um, I'm back now with the train show that was playing. And, yeah, don't see that every day. Just let me place here again. But that was completely over the top. Yeah, I mean, over the top. Copy a foreign TV. Damn it, we guessed right, but he still slipped through our fingers. If only we'd held our ground and stayed there a little longer. <sighs> In any case, that place that was behind him? What do you think it is? A superb site for those searching for sublime love? I just don't get it. Anyways, we better hurry and come up with a plan tomorrow. Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. Damn it. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. Hmm. At first, I thought it was one of those paranormal things, but when I gave it a try, it was real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned off TV on a rainy night. No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... It could cause a huge panic. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Huh. Yukiko had a show too. But she doesn't remember doing anything like that. Um, this might be a little off subject, but... The culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? Yeah. No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Wait a sec! I bet he is enjoying it! He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV! Yeah, yeah. what are we doing right now? That uh, laughter. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. Yeah. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan! Oh, eh, eh. Wait! So if people saw Yukiko's show, do you think people were watching what happened to me too? Oh, that is it! That killer is dead meat! I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face! First we save Kanji, then we crush the killer! Finally, we crush the killer and send him to HELL! Got it? Yay!
Chie, <laughs> those last two were the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Hey, Teddy, someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. You think? Do you know where he is? I don't know. We think it's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. I don't know. Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff, but I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this Kanji person. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Something about Kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji-kun personally? Okay then. Okay, we have my time left. Going to pop this in this carving. That's it, I do it myself. We could do it.
Yeah. Useful-ish? Not much, but I don't know. I'm gonna go find a place and ask the um, these guys for help. Yeah. Yeah, back with these boys. Oh, Mr. Fong. A, a box? When did it? Whoa, where did this guy come from? Dude, it looks scary, too. Oh, this apron. I think I've seen it at the shrine before. Huh? Curious with leaves? Huh? Cooperate with us? Are you serious? So it wants money in exchange for fixing us up? <laughs> What's with this guy? It acts like it understands what we're talking about. It yipped again. Maybe it really does understand what we're saying. But when you think about it, that means the police on duty and whatnot didn't find this fox, right? If it followed after us, then it really is something. Huh? You think it really understands us? What should we do? Well... I'd feel bad if we trapped it. It doesn't look like it'll do us any harm. What do you think? Yeah. And thinking about what happened at the shrine. Don't you think this curing would be a big help for us? Huh? Yeah, it would be Are a big help indeed. Did we take it into that other world? <coughs> hmm. Uh, I guess that might work. It doesn't seem like it's going to leave that easily either. And I definitely don't want it being all sulky and getting up to mischief in the store.
Okay then, folks, I think we'll base we're almost done with this thing. It's going to get to TV land right now. I better go home, honestly. I'm basically out of ideas. <coughs> oh, no, Phil Cousin, happy you were okay. Okay, I'm probably saving a whole box now, okay? Thank you, Lucy. 